Welcome back to this wonderful start in Valley Adventure. Currently, B and the boys are learning Seek and Destroy. It kinda goes. No, it's two, two. No, one, two. One, two, three. One. Something like that. <laughs> it was after long negotiation because I had already made them learn Kiss by London after midnight. That goes kinda like. Mm. And then... Something like that. Ooh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love music. I love music. Sorry, bass guitar. I will play with you later. Don't worry. All right. All right, all right, enough music. Yeah, negotiation because they don't like my music and I don't like theirs. <laughs> so we have to come to certain agreement. Like, 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 okay, this time I learn one of your songs and the next time you learn one of mine. So that's it. So we are currently learning Seek and Destroy by Metallica. I don't like Metallica, but oh well, we have to come to a middle point, I suppose. But all right. <laughs> The rambling. Let's go back into the game, all right? Uh, it's night time in real life. Uh, and I have much to talk about. Much to talk about. Like a whole lot. Well, not that much, actually. Uh, uh, well, first of all, I actually had three the fishing days of camera. Three. Three. Uh, as you can see, I have already gotten a lot of money in just those three days only fishing and fishing so i actually googled if it was uh, uh, uh the date with emily was time sensitive and no apparently we can do <laughs> her date whenever we can even the even if it's after marriage so that's okay that's okay we still have time also, while I was off camera, I went up and obtained my axe from Clint, so now we can go and have our date. Finally! But alright, the weather is going to be winter tomorrow! What weather? Winter! Alright, fortune teller. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are in good humor today! Thank goodness! <sighs> and the Queen of Souls reader on baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish, uh, the fish is fresh, preferably caught with your own rose. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. <laughs> the sound <laughs> of baking fish. Oh well, more like frying. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Cookie. Good morning. Are our winter melons ready? Also, I'm still trying to upload a Stardew Valley episode every single day. Has it been difficult? Oh, absolutely it has. Absolutely it has. But oh well. In any case, travelers, adventurers, and scavengers, I have two objectives this episode. The first one is that, of course, we're going to go and have our date with Emily. Here's my axe. Here it is. Oh, uh oh. -huh. And second, I am hoping that we can go to the mines and reach level 120, honestly. We're gonna try our hardest just to mining, trying to speedrun those last 20 levels that we are missing. Uh -huh. Anything else? Oh yes! As you can see, I have 21,000 gold and I was planning that maybe, just maybe, we can upgrade our coop and we can buy a rabbit. I think that's a great idea, actually. So, um, I visited Robin while I was switching off camera, and she says that to upgrade our coop, we are going to be spending 20,000 20, gold. And we also need 500 wood and I believe 300 stone. So, I'm still missing a little bit of wood. That said, 
How about we go and chop some wood around the woods? <laughs> uh, just wait for 10 p.m. to hit so we can go and have a date with our girlfriend. I think that's an excellent idea, actually. <laughs> so, first things first, let me go and say hello, hello to our chickens, of course. Oh, you know what else, you guys? I was kind of considering moving all of my flounders out so we can harvest sturgeon instead. That way we can start preparing for the caviar. I mean, I am 100% aware that our playthrough will end as soon as we complete this, complete it, <laughs> finish, complete <laughs> the community center. But I was thinking ahead, you know, like, hmm, what if we continue the Stardew Valley playthrough later in the future after some years? And well, how about we start cultivating a little bit of seeds for that? And I prepare our fish ponds with a little bit of caviar. So we can get caviar in here, finally. The caviar is going to be needed once the community center is completed. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the missing bundle gets unlocked. Oh boy. <laughs> And I know that that one is gonna be difficult and will actually require for our house to be totally upgraded. And that's gonna cost us a lot of money. Oh, powder melon, delicious. Oh, well. Let's sell this, by the way. We also have mail. Let me read them in just a second. Oh, I didn't put our egg in our mayonnaise machine. That is okay. We can sell them just like they are. Okay, mail time. Dear Mercy, tomorrow is the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Caroline? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then, Mayor Lewis. Well, did I find the gift for Caroline? Nope, I did not. I actually googled what, she, what were her favorite items and I was thinking that maybe our best bet was to go and to Goss's restaurant every single day. Every single day. <laughs> and maybe find a fish taco. Hold on. <laughs> Caroline. C -c -c Caroline. Yeah, fish taco. But I wasn't lucky and I didn't find any. And unfortunately, even though I do have the ingredients, most of the ingredients, I'm still missing a red cabbage. Oh, fish taco. Yeah, red cabbage. And that one only grows in the summer. But only after your second year. So, that's that. I do have a tuna and I could possibly do a tortilla. And also, of course, we do have the mayonnaise, but I don't have the red cabbage. Oh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Hi, Cookie. Uh, let's see. Let's deposit this. But okay. So I suppose we better get chopping. Also, look at this, carrot seeds. I've, I was doing a little bit of forage and I found them. Now I don't know what to do with them, so I guess they will wait until spring begins. I actually cannot believe that there were not carrots in Stardew Valley. And I actually thought about this when I was looking at a video in Tumblr that I think was posted first on TikTok and then it was <laughs> reposted on Tumblr. <laughs> about uh, a cake person making a Stardew Valley themed cake. And what got me curious was that they were making little carrots out of uh, fondant. And I was like, wait a second, Stardew Valley doesn't have carrots. That is so weird for a farming game. <laughs> Lo and behold, we, know, we now have carrot seeds to fix that mistake, I suppose. <laughs> Oh well, enough rambling, boy. I am extra chatty today. Let's see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's get chopping wood. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you think that if we chop the woods in the mountains, we're gonna be having enough to to commission the upgrade of our uh, 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 coop? <laughs> 
today, in this same day before the day ends in this day, <laughs> I'm feeling mildly, mildly, mildly optimistic. So let's try that, okay? That's it. <sighs> Do I only need the wood and rocks? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Bum, ba -da -ba 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 -bum. Chicken! Chicken destroy! <laughs> oh, tree, you are so going down. We need 500 woods, by the way. It's gonna be a little tough finding the remaining 300. No, no, no. 200 and uh, 13 woods that we need. Crystal fruit, though. I wonder if Linus is over here, so we can give this to him. Hi, Linus. How's it going? Sorry <laughs> for coming in without knocking the door first. Wait, you don't have a door. This is a great gift. Thank you. I'm sure you understand why I'm cautious of, 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 of strangers. I totally understand. But let's put that in the past, okay? You and I are friends now, I think. Linus, we are best friends as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> best friends, are we? I'm pretty sure we are our best friends, yeah. <laughs> we have the most friendship with Linus. Hooray for us, I guess. Alright, let's get to work. Huh. Incredibly enough, there is there are no logs up here to chop. Weird. I always believe that this place was always gonna be full of fiber. And the branches and whatnot, but I guess winter is not the case. Aha! Uh -huh. Winter root. I knew. I knew it was a winter root. Shh, no, I didn't. But let's pretend so I can pretend that I'm super smart. <laughs> Possibly also psychic. <laughs> Boy. Okay, 368 wood. Luckily for us. Wood goes up in big numbers pretty quick. Oh, Robin, you better be at home today, or I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm gonna chase you. Yeah, she's there. Okay, <laughs> okay so I believe that we have until 5 p.m. before she closes and, uh, and goes away from the counter, I guess. Chop your tree, sorry. Sorry, tree. Chicken destroy. Chicken destroy. Right. <laughs> My band bodies are more like metal bodies and not as much as Godrock. That's alright, I guess. Twitch their own. That's why music is so different. There's music for everybody. A frenzy! No. <laughs> we will ignore the jump frenzy. I wasn't able to ignore the perch frenzy for a couple of... Uh, uh, for like last night? Was that video posted yesterday or the day before? Either or, either or. Ah, I cannot reach that tree. Huh. 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 You think you're so important, Tree, only because I cannot reach you. Oh, look, we are also very, very close to obtaining all the wood that we need. One more tree. I am eyeing those trees in the middle of the lake. But let me see if there's any other that is a little bit more nearby. Uh, I guess not. Oh, <laughs> or though. Yes. <laughs> Copper or perfect. Oh, I'm Bubbles. Sorry, Bubbles. Today I, I, I don't have the vision of fishing. Boy, three days. Three days full of fishing. Of camera, I tell you. It does something to the soul. Trying to do something edgy. Like, oh, kids these days will never understand what it feels. To fish for three entire days. <laughs> Let's see. Is that all we need, by the way? I up. Perfect. Build. Deluxe coop. 
right over in this uh, corner. Kaboom! Perfect! Okay, I'll start working on your coop upgrade the day after tomorrow. I always take festivals off, of course, Robin. Oh, that's right, I wasn't able to find a fish taco. I guess winter is a good time to work on my gadgets. Good luck! I wonder if I could make anything useful for farmers. <gasps> I don't know, I was thinking sprinklers, but I can't do those myself. <laughs> Do you have a kitchen in your house yet? I do! Cooking is kind of like doing lab work. I guess. That's right. Sebastian! I was gonna be like, I have a, a frozen tear for you, but no, this is a snow job. <laughs> Hi! I'm glad the path to the railroad tracks is open again. I like going up there when I feel like being alone. Mm, which is often. <laughs> good for you, good for you. One must find good ways to being alone that doesn't include being in your room, you know? You can be alone outside and that's better for you, I tell ya. That's better for you. <laughs> Mediaverse is stamp of approval. Being alone outside. <laughs> Another Mediaverse is stamp of approval. Snow yams. That looks suspiciously like frozen tears. <laughs> anyway, let's harvest our mushrooms, of course. Kinda tempted to put decorations in there. But what kind, I wonder? Oh, Cookie scared me. I was like, what is happening down there? <laughs> let's see, do I have oh, yeah, yeah, enough space in my inventory to put one more of these guys? Sorry, fish babies. Uh-huh. How nice! We upgraded our coop! Next objective is gonna be buying a bunny, of course. Let's see, I will also sell you and you. Also the mixed seeds. The maple? Yeah, we sell the maple seeds, of course. There we go. We are out of materials right now. But not fret. Do not fret. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that's right. My wood and my stone also. Put you there. And the tree seeds, pine cones. I also want to plant these acorns. And I was also tickling the idea of making tree fertilizers. Let's see, fiber and stone. Sure. Let's do three. Fiber and stone. Okay. Ow. Oh, the cookie is slowly approaching. One, two, three. Okay. I like that. I like that. Put you back there. Let's plant these acorns. Up here in our... Oh boy, here comes the loud music. Here he comes. Here comes the man. The man. Let everybody know that. Here he comes. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So you're already pretty far up, but I'm still going to fertilize you and you boys as well. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, by the way, this acorn right here, I think I'm going to be moving it. Hmm, but to where? Oh, I think I'm gonna put you over here to follow the line. There we go, little friends. Plant you with lots of love and care. <laughs> lots! In fact, it may be a little bit too much love and care. Oh, that's right, there's lots! Well, how about we go up the mines? It's not like we have anything better to do. And that's a lot of money, by the way. Ah, 10 pieces of hardwood. 10. We have 41. Do you think they have to be fresh? By that I mean they have to be from... Chopped from today. No, I think it's... I think Robin is not picky about that. Anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going up some... Oh, no, no, no. Up the mountains in the mines. So, I will take you and you... Um, uh, and you, of course, and uh, 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 the um, rest plate. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's go up the mountain. Up the mines, I mean. Hi, Cookie. Cookie is currently doing the diligent work of watching over our snow melons. <laughs> what are they called? Powder melons? Dirt melons? Ice melons? 
Melon, melons. Quite possibly. One never knows. The, the, the scientific name for things most times. <laughs> ah, boy, oh boy. Hello, hello, chest and furnaces. I am here to use you once again. Please uh, smelt me some bars, won't you? Oh, please uh, smelt me some bars. All right. So, let's get to work, but only for a little bit, all right? Whew. Oh, I didn't go to see Robin <laughs> to deliver her heart with. Nice. Let's go as fast as possible. Ignore every rule and every law known to man and by the universe. That also includes the laws of physics. You may start floating if you like. But only if you like. I mean, I know that we are talking about breaking the rules, but I still don't want to make you do anything you don't want to do. Because what if... What if floating it goes against your rules, you know? Like, oh, I don't want to mess with that. Oh, nice no, stairs. Alright, hold on, hold on. I do want this. Uh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Alright. Boy, I am silly today. I've been actually that rather gloomy lately. I was rewatching the episode that I posted yesterday and I was like, oh no, my luminous is leaking <laughs> from my let's play <laughs> into my let's play more like Oh no, the luminous Oh doom and despair <laughs> That was my bad. Even I recognize that maybe that episode I wasn't quite feeling it. Even I recognize it. It's okay though. I am ready I am ready to bounce back. Uh, uh, out of here. Uh, out of here. Okay, nice. Let's find the stairs as quick as we can. <gasps> Barrels, though. Barrels, though. Oh, that's right. We have to be slaying slimes. Ten of them, as a matter of fact. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ow. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Three. <laughs> All right. Out of here. This is not about you. You wish it was about you, but it's not. Have you guys noticed how Kendrick Lamar has posted, has uploaded a new album? Is it an album? I actually don't know the difference between an album and a mixtape. I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting though. I believe that Kendrick Lamar is the only artist that I follow that actually is still making music. <laughs> I mean, more like... Oh nice, Irene! Hold on. What is that? Uh, immunity band. The top of the ring is made from enchanted purple. Oh, oh, oh. Should I wear it? Should I? Let me see what else I have. A small magnet ring. So delightfully increases your radius for collecting items. Aquamarine ring. Hmm. Hmm. I know that the immunity is good for fighting slimes, but that's about it. So let's read this secret note. I borrowed a necklace from mom, but she lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it's missing. Uh oh! <laughs> a necklace! Somewhere near the pan house. Huh! The mystery! The mystery! Oh, oh. Reading in the middle of a very dangerous place. Out of here, <laughs> Hold on, what else? What else? Huh? Uh, well, no, you can stay in my inventory for a little longer. A ruby. It would be good if we found a topaz, honestly, because I just saw that in the special orders board, Emily has posted the notice, the mission, that she wants somebody, <laughs> us, <laughs> us, to find a gems for the rock rejuvenation. And for that, I'm gonna need a topaz. It is exactly the only mineral that I am missing. 
so we could fulfill that mission. Oh well. It's a page from M. Jasper's book. The creatures known by some as forest spirits, or junimos, are said to appear in abandoned buildings after they've gone to seed. As a general rule, uh, when humans live and nature begins to reclaim her territory, the junimos will undoubtedly appear. Folk wisdom holds that the junimos display some kind of resonant affinity with gemstones that are placed inside their little huts. <laughs> also, it's said that raisins are their favorite food, but they are too shy to take them directly from the hands. Of course, all these claims come from dubious, unverified sources. <laughs> as far as I know, even the mere existence of these creatures has never been proven. <laughs> Alright, well, I got a little bit to eat to that voice. <laughs> well, I surprise myself sometimes. Only sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Yes, I, I wasn't much into Kendrick Lamar. I believe that the last time that I listened to him was a few songs that he did for the Black Panther movie. Oh, I'm out of energy. I will eat this. <laughs> yes, please. Nice. That actually filled me with energy. Wow. Uh, I think I only listened to half, only half, of the album that he released in 2017, I believe, called Damn. And I didn't finish it. Uh, he only came back into popularity because of his little uh, uh, dispute that he had with Drake. So I was like, oh, that's right. I knew a few songs from him, a diamond. All right, let's also go to our date, by the way. <laughs> oh, if only this could work. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm, nice. Okay. I hope she's in there. I didn't bring my axe. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> but uh, that was about it. Back in that time, I was uh, getting my 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 listening to most deaf and I was also listening to a, a, a notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls so I was like oh let's also check out Kendrick Lamar but that was about it and then once we, he came back in popularity I was like oh that's right let's also check him back up again and I listened to the album uh, The Big Steppers <laughs> Uh -huh. The big steppers that stepped up. <laughs> That's not what it's called. And that album actually had me in tears. I love music. I love music. All of it, I feel it personally. It's a little too late though. Do you think my girlfriend is, has already left? Oh, I guess we'll find out. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, let's also drink a coffee. So we can go faster. Do we still have? Yes. Exactly one. I hope she's, she's still there. Or else we have wasted a coffee. That's no good. No good. But yes, that album made me cry a lot. The hard part five. I actually talk about it. Talked about it in a, like an episode from a month ago like wow what a great song it's a great song fantastic one of those that i'm gonna keep on repeat but yes after that i began actually following him oh here we go okay <laughs> yes oh, girlfriend this costed me 500 <laughs> i mean 5000 gold <laughs> well this is fun isn't it Oh, I have never seen this cutscene before. This is nice. Kind of spooky, actually. <gasps> Do you believe in ghosts? I don't. I mean, I have fought things called ghosts in the mines, but that doesn't mean that I believe they exist. <laughs> Wait, how does that work? <laughs> it's chilly out here. It is. Okay, I will stop saying silly things. 
was there but no whatever it was no <laughs> our food a bear I hope he's not hungry huh? oh the other sleeping bag is still outside no way I'm going back out there uh oh no no you stay here oh mercy you don't mind sharing a sleeping bag with me, do you? Of course not! <coughs> Coughing all over your face, but of course not! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, I don't want to see it to end! Oh, the day ends there! No way! <laughs> I have things to sell, I think! <laughs> oh, that was so sweet! I am actually a little, a little flustered. Oh, my cheeks are so red. Oh, I'm gonna be giggling about this <laughs> for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm gonna be brushing my teeth and just being like, <gasps> Me and Emily share the sleeping bag! Oh! And just kinda explode a little bit. <laughs> Wow! Hello, my girlfriend! Hold on. <laughs> Go right outside. Ooh, so I can yell, Hello, my girlfriend! 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 <laughs> Sorry. <Ooh. laughs> Alright. It's gonna be winter tomorrow! 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 <laughs> we'll do try today, okay. Welcome to Living Off the Land! We're back again with another tip for y'all! Now listen up! Ever had the urge to dig around in your neighbor's trash? Ew! Hey, if that's your thing, just don't do it when anyone's around! If they notice you, they'll be seriously grossed out and it'll harm your friendship! Well, unless they're into the same thing, <laughs> I guess! Thank you! Oh, also let's read the second note! Ah, look at this! Gorgeous, young Marty and baby Jazz, and their little animals. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Let's raise our mail also. Thanks for joining me last night. I had a great time. I'm actually glad that bear showed up. I'll see you soon. Love, Emily. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I love my girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> and the ground shakes. <laughs> Earthquake. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. Thank you, bear. <laughs> oh boy, that was so sweet. I won't stop thinking about it ever, ever. <laughs> oh, how nice! Oh, how nice! Oh, oh, mushrooms, you're still not ready. <laughs> all right, let's sell all of these goodies. All right, have I said hello to you, Cookie? I have, okay, just making sure. Ah, uh, all of that excitement. Got my nose full of goop. <laughs> nose goop. Let me blow my nose. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. But yeah, Kendrick is the uh, only musician I follow that still makes music. I mean, my favorite bands, uh, The Last Dance, for example. Their last album was released on 2021. And it actually, it actually wasn't very good. 
<laughs> favor. My favorite album of theirs is called Whispers in Rage. And it was released on 20, uh, uh, 2003. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's right. I have to go see Robin. That's my favorite album of theirs. But that's about it. I guess it's also kind of beautiful to listen to bands that no longer make music. I think it goes along with the theme. Also call me basic, but I quite like typo negative. But the band died as soon as Peter Steele also passed away, so that's that. Hmm. Uh, let me take this over here, though. All right. All right. So today is Christmas. I couldn't get a fish taco, however... I do have a wild horseradish, which is an item that Caroline likes. Likes, but doesn't love, pretty much. So we will give this to her. <laughs> Receiving a vegetable <laughs> as Christmas gift. Oh well. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh -huh. Also, hold on, hold on. Okay. The love music outside went away. All right, all right. But yeah, I quite like type of negative. <laughs> I saw a video about them recently titled... Uh, what was it? Uh, saludo. Uh, uh, hold on, let me go say hello to my chickens before I go to the festival. Give me a second festival. <sighs> Uh, the video was called The Story of Typo Negative And in parenthesis, in parenthesis it said And why these days they would be cancelled or, <laughs> or something along those lines I will link it in the description <laughs> Now the description has become an all purpose <laughs> An all purpose text <laughs> For whenever I want to cite something, but I can't quite explain it. <laughs> and, and yeah, well, after thinking about it and listening to all of their music and being a, a fan of them, I think I agree that maybe some of their songs wouldn't sit right with a person listening to them for the very first time. But the more interviews I got to saw Peter Steele in, and the more I got to know his music, I think I kind of come to the conclusion that he was just in his head making a list of things that he knew were offensive, but he still thought that would be cool. <laughs> uh-huh. Nice. Uh-huh. Snow young. Like, who names their album Origin of Feces? <laughs> Other than someone who thinks that that's kind of cool and edgy. <laughs> right? Oh, I miss him though. Rest in peace. Marnie. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Yes, I am here. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Of course, of course. And here I am thinking about death and <laughs> bands that no longer make music. <laughs> oh, presents. Yeah, presents. <sighs> I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. Oh, bam. Bam. That was so long ago. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> what a beautiful tree. Ayup, uh, 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 ayup. Hi, Pierre. Merry Christmas. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Hooray! Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. <laughs> that would be fascinating. Pierre's Day. <laughs> Everybody is obliged 
to buy something from Pierce's store at Pierce Day. <laughs> Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? Of course! I love legends! In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old people, in times of old people, would come from far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as the star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Wow. Is that true? Possibly, I mean, we can't confirm it. Hey, good afternoon. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Iris. I've joined in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Oh, if you want something to eat, let me know and I will bring it to you, okay? You don't have to come all the way over here if you don't want to, after all. Uh, after all? <laughs> Alright, uh, tons of people, let's see, who do we speak with first? Let's go in order, I guess. Nothing like piping! A piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? <sighs> Sounds so good, I wonder what I'm gonna be having for dinner tonight. Give Caroline her secret gift? Yes! <laughs> what? Horseradish? <laughs> oh, so it's you! Oh, yep! Ah, a wild horseradish! Thanks! <laughs> You're welcome! Oh, I wonder who's gonna be my secret friend! <laughs> Clint! <laughs> That's kind of ironic, isn't it? All three of us, me, Emily and Clint, are stuck in some kind of situation! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Hi, so I'm your secret gift giver this year. Well, open it. What could it be? What could it be? Magma Geon! <gasps> Clint, don't tell me this is where I'm going to be finding the Iridium more that I am missing. I hope so, thank you. It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, geodes, I have to go and open them with Clint. <laughs> so, if I were to open this up with him, he would gain a little bit of coin. Ah, Clint, you are one smart fella. <laughs> I guess, smile. That not only made me smile, but also made me laugh. Good job, Clint! <laughs> boy, oh boy! The situation that the three of us are is quite complicated, isn't it? I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Huh, you know, I was kinda like that, or more like I am kinda like that. In a way that... Well, yeah, of course, a lot of things make a lot of scientific sense once you think of them in a, in a more smart way, I guess. <laughs> I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Yeah, okay. Um, but then some things happen that you just can't explain. Like, like the ghost that was haunting the hospital room of my dad. My dad had surgery recently. And we, uh, uh, my mom, uh, 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 kept the, uh, 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 <laughs> stayed with him while he was recovering in the hospital room. Don't worry, he's fine. It wasn't an emergency. It was just the kind of, of surgery that men have to go through once they reach a certain age. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so. While mom was there, she said that very strange things were happening that just can't be explained by, by reason. And then I also had a similar experience while I was at work many years ago during my very first job. Uh, it was... Okay, okay, I know it's Christmas in Stardew Valley, but let me tell you that story actually. I love telling that story. <laughs> Look. There are holes in the ground because usually there are two lanterns here. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So, so, I had my very first job. It was in a, in a souvenir shop downtown. And it was rainy season. It must have been around August or September. 
as I had to open the shop that day. It was morning. The night before that, it was a very huge storm had uh, come upon us. It was very rainy the, the night before. And when I opened the day after, the morning after, I saw that in the uh, in the water puddle outside there were little prints going into the shop but they were like tiny baby hand prints as if they had stepped on the puddle and gone inside the shop and the prints faded as they went inside but it was so weird like are you kidding me there were no babies in the rain crawling into the store <laughs> the store was closed <laughs> <laughs> I was opening! What? <laughs> and up to this day I still haven't found a way to explain that because the prints were too large to be um, from a cat and besides how the they went through the door! That is so freaky! <laughs> and I feel like all the people that I've known and all the friends that I've had they had weird experiences that just can't be explained with reason and logic, right? Like my ex-best friend <laughs> that I mentioned last episode also says that sometimes in her house weird things happen. Like in the middle of the night, so she and her sister, because they shared the same room, would just hear knocking on the door. Like actual knocking, like like that and they they will wake up in the middle of the night and be like hello but there wouldn't be any response it was weird oh. <laughs> you can thank shane for this conversation <laughs> for the anecdotes boy oh boy this episode is quite special i spoke about music and spoke about ghosts <laughs> Clint, thank you so much, by the way. Ah, oh, all these happy families. But for me, just another lonely year. Clint! Clint, I know that you may hold some bad feelings against me because I am dating Emily. And I plan to marry her. And I know you have very special feelings for her. But I tell you that you and I can be friends if you want to be friends. You don't have to be lonely and sad and angry. You know, you know, just saying. <laughs> now I'm feeling a certain way. <laughs> okay, let's continue speaking with the people. It's a fine art, making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red coloring, and it's all natural. Oh, you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla in the white candy to complement the cherry flavor. <laughs> Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you look like you are falling asleep. Are you okay? <laughs> no, because I am actually quite interested in, in what you're saying. Oh, people smile so bright when they speak about things they love. Like me speaking about music this episode. <laughs> oh boy. Well, hello, Mercy. It's chilly, isn't it? A little bit. I wish I was wearing a sweater. I'm not gonna lie to you, Elliot. Hi, Leah. Gus was just telling me about his cri uh, uh, <laughs> his artisan candy canes. Oh. I think he had too much cinnamon nog. <laughs> oh, let him ramble. Oh, let him ramble. <gasps> oh, blush, blush. Hi, girlfriend. Mercy, what are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Any watering can? A jug of spiced meat? A pair of stylish boots? Oh, um, hmm. excellent question! <laughs> hmm. You know, I would love to have any watering can, but 
also like stylish boots. Meat will be fun, but you can only drink it once and then it's gone. <laughs> a pair of stylish boots. I see, that would be a great gift. Emily! Emily! I love you. <laughs> Alright, hello! I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. I hope so too, honestly. <laughs> no scoop! Let me blow my nose. Ah, much better! Out of here, no scoop! Hi! It's not a good time of year for a diet. <laughs> I guess not. Hi! I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. <laughs> Some looks so cute in that hat, by the way. Hello, Grandpa! A feast for some stupid star. Humbug. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Humbug. Let's be grumpy together, Grandpa. Humbug. <laughs> oh, hi, Granny. Oh, my. Aren't you cold, fear? It's freezing. It is. <laughs> freezing. <laughs> hi, Alex. I'm freezing. <laughs> oh, hello. You don't look so happy. What's the matter? Nothing, I guess. Huh, weird. I guess Alex is just frowny today for some reason. That's alright. Some days are like that, I guess. Can we open presents now? Yeah. I already opened mine. I'll probably get another tool set this year. Huh. <laughs> From your wife? <laughs> uh, spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Sometimes. Hi, I'm Mercy. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Thank you. I will do that just now. Huh. So, uh. Uh. Seen any cool shows lately? <laughs> Alright. Sorry, Linus. I couldn't bring food for you. Let's see. Anything else we need to check? We've already gifted our gift. And we have already received our gift. So, in my book, we are finished. But let me check. Let me comf the town. Comf. Comf. Comf the town. Comf the town. You cannot search a trash can because you're comf the town. You're gone. <laughs> comf the town. Comf the town. Okay. I believe that I have also spoken with everybody who I can speak to. Let me check. Let's see. Ah, uh, we are... Oh, Maru! We haven't spoken with her. Anybody else? The wizard and Sandy. Oh, we haven't met her. <laughs> Apparently, okay. Let's see, where's Maru? Maru! Sorry, I forgot to speak with you. Hi, Mercy. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right, that was it. What do you sell, Pierre? Powder melon, of course. <laughs> Fried mushroom, cake carrot. Hmm. I see. Fascinating. Should I buy something? Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Are you kidding me? 2,500 for a melon. You're pulling my leg. Pulling both of my legs and my arm a little bit. No way I am paying that much. Leave the Feast of the Winter Star. Once you do, the festival will end. Okay, yes. Mary! Uh, 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 early Christmas! <laughs> I was trying to remember the words. Merry early Christmas, everybody! Merry early Christmas to you too, also. Travelers, adventurers, and scavengers. We are like more, no, almost a month away. <laughs> or, no, exactly a month away from Christmas. The Merry Christmas! <laughs> Alright, let me put my present over here. Thank you, Clint. I quite appreciate it. Crossing my fingers. That we are going to be finding the iridium that we need in those geodes. I have a good feeling about those geodes. And a good feeling in general. Ah! 
No, that! Don't you see it's Christmas? <laughs> Crossing you up so I can go <laughs> get my sword. Alright. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. Before the day ends, let me go check the calendar in the town square. Outside of Pierre's house. I need to plan for something. Because I believe that I'm gonna be spending the next few days only fishing again. But, come back and record next episode at this very last day so we can begin spring at the second day of our next episode, okay? So this means that in Clint's birthday and on winter 27th, I'm gonna be fishing, okay? And we will return for tomorrow's episode to finish our very first Stardew Valley year. Wow! It actually took the Stardew Valley year longer to finish than an actual year in real life. <laughs> My very first episode was Stardew Valley episode 1 and it was uploaded on November 6th. Was it November 6th? Or was it 26th? <laughs> it was 6 something. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. But all right, that's the plan for uh, uh, today's episode. And I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, well, I had a very wonderful time today. I've been up in a... Uh, 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 I've been in a very good mood. Go away, gloominess in my heart. No more. No more. Let's cheer up, okay? Okay, everybody on board? Everybody? Yes, yes. Raise your hands, raise your hands. <laughs> Everybody's on board. Let's cheer up. No matter how much I miss Peter Steele, <laughs> I will cheer up. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. Hi, Cookie. Merry Christmas, Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> Get to sleep for the night. Yes. Okay, let me see what's in store for my fishing day of camera, of course. See if I'm gonna receive any mail. That's lots of money though. Good for us. Good for us. Yawn. Ah. Huh, let's see. It's gonna be winter tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, minus one luck stat. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Dear Mercy, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care. Caroline, new cooking recipe, parsnip soup. Mmm, delicious. Dear Mercy, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Accept quest. I will fish it. Do not worry, Gus. I will come to your rescue. <laughs> but alright. Let me connect everything so we can do our outro song, okay? Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 but okay, travelers. Thank you so much for joining me today. Travelers, adventurers, and scavengers. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Of course, don't forget to donate to the links in the description. And I will see you again tomorrow, all right? I'm trying my best to upload one episode a day. Because we are so close to finishing Stardew Valley, all right? How close? I don't know. But the season ending fills me with hope, all right? <laughs> that we are close. All right, chicken destroy. <laughs> Let's play our outro song. What? Okay, girl. Thank you.